Hey, hey, everyone. Welcome to Info Flash. Say, did y'all lose power yesterday, too? Yeah, when the lights went out, there I was cooking dinner. Well, if we're getting specific, I was nuking a half-eaten burrito I found wedged in my couch cushions. your partner? Just a friend. You gonna stay over? We'll see. Your mom's waiting for you with dinner. trailer. Randy moved in when I bought him a new one. Real hellhole. Like in my good old days. You check around. I'll check the trash. Locked. Know where the key might be? Nope. Expensive tech. Randy had the scratch for this? You're joking. Chance Randy could afford hardware like this. Way too pricey. We gotta get in, but I doubt anyone knows the password. Can you crack it? Let me give it a shot. Thank <laughs> you. 
Eureka. Help me scour this, will you? Something deeply fucked about that cartoon. My skin's crawling. They caught Harris in a vehicle like that. Blockaded street. Shit, River. I remember that day. He lives close to an old school. True angel of empathy, this guy, huh? He figured out Randy's identity. Sent him the game as a present. This guy baited Randy like a pro. River, do you? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? No. There's no way. Why would he do that? Not only did they agree to meet, but it looks like Randy was as excited as any kid on his way to a theme park. Fuck. This creep definitely scrambled Randy's head. Natalie must have been the only person Randy trusted. Can we view this page with a link? Some kind of link. The one Randy wrote about? Let's find out. Hidden page set up by Anthony Harris. Christ. I'm gonna be sick. Jesus, River, this is fucked. Guy preyed on troubled kids. Made habit to target boys like Randy. This is my fault. If I just paid more attention. Just talked with him more. Hey, come on. You're not the one to blame here. There was a file here. Deleted, looks like. But the name's still there. Wasn't the video file on Randy's comp called something like that? Hey look. The name of this cartoon matches the missing file on Harris's page. That's what we needed to find for Yawin. V, we've got it. Randy must have downloaded it. Sure, but V, don't you get it? This could be the key to Harris's mind. Here's hoping. Hey, uh, can you use any of that Netrunner magic to shake anything else out of this?
Not that kind of magician. Oh, okay. We'll have to manage without it. That cartoon, River. You said yourself we needed something to get Harris to dream. Send it to Yawin. Right. Sending it now. Okay. Says she'll get back to me by morning. And that I am a son of a bitch. And, uh, eh, come on. Let's grab a bite. Listen, let's not worry Joss more than we need to, huh? We're hot on the trail. We'll know more tomorrow. That's it. Dorian, please. But it really tastes like boogers! Joss, we're finished. All done. Off to bed, then. We left some for you, Uncle River. Thanks, Monique. Tell me you found something. Looks like Randy knew his kidnapper. They were in touch. Why would he do something like that? You know him? Kids? Look for help in the wrong places. When's the last time you ate? Yesterday. Have mine. I'm not hungry. Thanks. Maybe later. Now you? No bullshit. Don't look at my brother, just tell me. Will you find my boy? River's a hell of an investigator. Randy's as good as found. Won't give up until I do, Joss. Joss, you mind if V takes Randy's trailer for the night? No. Sure. Stay in, right? You gotta help me see this through. To the end. Of course I'll stay. <laughs> Find your way, all right? Yup. Gonna hit the sack soon. Hang in there, Joss. V, wake up. <sighs> Not done sleeping. Yawin called. It worked. The cartoon. He's dreaming. You, you got the BD. Right here. Slot it in. Jack into the computer. I want to see it on the monitor. That dock of yours is quick, not bad. What's the matter with you, Anthony? I have to report this. I hope you understand that. Here's a spooky days. And that's what we want. Sit over now. You know that What's the matter with you, Anthony? I have to report this. I hope you understand that. This isn't normal behavior. Anthony, you killed Liam's turtle. He was sick. He wouldn't eat, stayed in his shell. I just wanted to help him. By injecting him with HGH? What were you thinking? Is this something your father taught you? Good people took you in. Extended their trust. This is how you repay them? Your friend died. I understand. But that is no excuse. 
Fuck you. What did you just say? Okay, I've had enough. Principal's gonna hear about this. Your foster parents, too. I see. Like father, like son. Huh, I recognize this shooting. It was a case study back at the academy. Give me a sec to check which school that was. Laguna Bend. Oh, looks like the whole town got flooded in the 50s. Well, at least we know the general area where Harris lived. Guess that'd be that. Trophy. Old one. Dated from 2042. First place in an interscholastic wrestling tournament. Don't you dare talk about my dad! That's right, you little shit. I know it all. Farm failed. Dad put a bullet in his head. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You can't talk to anyone! Hush! 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 Right, you little shit. Shit. I know it all. Farm failed. Dad put a bullet in his head. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You can't talk about my dad, you... You prank! You... You can! You... You can! He... He was sick. Weak. I just wanted to help him. What's the matter with you, Evan? Then we do where I'm. Matter with you, Anthony? I have for this. I will understand that. Right, you little shit. I know it all. Farm failed. Dad put a bullet in his head. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You can't talk about my dad, you... you prank! You... you can't! You... you can't! He... he was sick. Weak. I just wanted to help him.
What's the matter with you, Anthony? I have to report this. I hope you understand that. This isn't normal behavior. Anthony, you killed Liam's turtle. He was sick. He wouldn't eat, stayed in his shell. I just wanted to help him. By injecting him with HGH? What were you thinking? Is this something your father taught you? Good people took you in, extended their trust. This is how you repay them? Your friend died. I understand. But that is no excuse. Fuck you. What did you just say? looks even younger here. See that? Cow sick, like the rest. Looks like a cattle bioscanner for checking vitals. Tony, come here. Yeah, Dad. You forget something? I asked you a question. I I don't know. Choline, I'm at thy nine levels. See anything odd? Um, too low. You were supposed to check before school. What do you gotta say for yourself? I was gonna die because of you. Gonna kill it like you killed your mama. I... I'm sorry. Don't apologize, just dial up her hormones. And shut off that goddamn cartoon! How many times I gotta tell you not to leave it like that, hmm? Cattle injectors for hormones, antibiotics. People ate meat loaded with the shit. How many times I gotta tell you not to leave it like that? Hmm? At the day I. Supplements in the feed for disease-free livestock. Hey, try to turn that shit off. Guess that'd be that.
think this might be the place, V. It's a recent memory. Gotta be his hideout. Got some cables. Got a clock. An hour to midnight. Looks like Peter Pan turned this farm into a goddamn final bastion. You must have been an auto shop or something here at some point. Me. He treats the kidnapped boys like cattle. Hearing what I'm hearing? Trash barge. That's the signal the dump. Has to be a landfill nearby. Look. Another one. The machine controls an injection system for stimulants, hormones, something. Fire department search stamp right here. City South. Perfect. see Randy anywhere. The terminal controls the pens. Gotta be another deck somewhere for the mines and turrets. Signage on the farm model points to Petrochem. And where are you up to, Mike? Hey, the Illuminated Towers. Promoting the Us Cracks album that came out then. Colors changed every hour. I think that might be it. Not so sure, River. I think we ought to explore a bit more. You okay? 
Let's go with your gut. That's got to be all she wrote in this one. Probably right. Okay. Come here, you rascal. You'll hurt yourself. Tony will take good care of you. Easy now. Okay, so where do we sit now exactly? We know Harris still lives near an old school that's now underwater. You can see the NC skyline and the Us Cracks towers from the farm. It's a few miles out. Farms located near a landfill. We know that too. Those towers promoting the Us Cracks album. Colors change regularly, once an hour. So we know the time. Eleven at night. Right. And that puts the farm east of the city. Southeast, actually. Stamp on the NCFD certificate was from the southern region. Farm models a petrochem design, so that eliminates any others. Which narrows it down to Edgewood Farm. That's gotta be our place. So... We've got it. Just hope we didn't fuck it up. Come on, we gotta go. more in two days than the NCPD accomplished in weeks. Not hard to do, but yeah, you're right. Thanks, V. For everything. We'll find him, River. <sighs> if I'd only known sooner how he felt. What was eating at him? This isn't your fault. I'm his uncle, V. And I wasn't there for him. River, this is the farm. We got it. I know. Let's get to the barn quick. Heads up! Turrets are live. The system controlling them must be in the house. Thank you. 
Gotta be here. Have a look around. out of this wall. Should be a switch somewhere.
try disabling the defense. Quick! Hanging in there. We made it. V, shut down the machine. Can't unlink Randy otherwise. Randy! 1052. I repeat, I've got a 1052 at a farm south of the city. Yes, send the fucking squad! Yeah, we're laying coordinates now. No, several, at least. Do it quick, dammit! Oh, and watch for automated defenses on the side. They're substantial. Hurry! Gotta shut it off! Okay, all disconnected. Check the others. Could still be alive. Right! Whoa, whoa, easy there, easy there. Hey, you're all right now. Been dead a few days already. Here to help. You're a bit dehydrated, but you're gonna be fine. V, help me with Randy. Need to loosen this. Help me.
We did it, River. Yep. We sure did. But I'm not about to leave it like this. The horror that bastard inflicted. Can't let it go. What do you want to do? Zero him? Exactly. Squeeze the life out of him with my bare hands. Sick fuck has to die. Refer, come on, man. It won't change anything. Anthony Harris is a sad sack of meat, hooked up to a respirator now. For how long? He has to die. It's the only way I'll be sure. Stop. Gonna throw your life away getting revenge on a brain-dead vegetable? Well, I don't know. Maybe you're right. But it's driving me crazy not doing anything. Actually, got quite a bit you can do, River. Joss, Randy, the kids. They're gonna need you now. More than ever. Yeah. No, you're right. Forget about Harris. Take one day at a time, but rest first. Once your head's on straight again, give me a hollow. We'll talk. Yeah, need a little time to myself now. But then I'll call you. My will. Hey, we're ready for evac. Are you riding along or not? Really, V. Thanks. Couldn't have done it without you. No problem. Hey, don't be a stranger. Controls every half hour, reporting directly to me. Are we preparing for a visit from Biotechnica or a fourth corporate? V, war? you're here. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend to do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Do you think I'm that stupid? I am starting to wonder. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job? Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No. This discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. 
I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back, and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob, also on board. And you plan to grab the basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? Make better use of it right here in What's America. Uh, what about Washington's Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? Okay, so no. What the okay, hell else do everyone you listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts Whatever, distributed asshole. across two trucks. And to you! Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. It's all too mm -hmm. easy. Um, short, Convenient to arrange. Business. The exact tech you need. Coming your way almost served on a silver platter. Yes, Saul also claimed it stinks to high heaven. Intel on the convoy, where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Uh, come on. Did you get your hands on me, too? Screw you. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Let's go. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp? Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. It's better to make a good second impression on the biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed they would not. The Raffins, what about them? You expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? 
He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? We have arrived. Big bastard. I like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Sol would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Seems to be a lot of abandoned stations around. This one belonged to a corporation that ran a cement factory. They used it as their reloading point. They didn't take the train engine when they left? The engine's been here going on 40 years. Since the Blackwall days. For a time, everybody had to go back to the old ways. This engine ran on nuclear. Like submarines do. All the weirder they left it behind. Corpse. They probably listed it in a spreadsheet as cost optimization. It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me too. I will see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Junctions. Yes. Free. Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. Sure thing. Not here. Some sort of Stone Age control panel.
Got something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! Well, V, the card in the reader. <sighs> Here goes nothing. to speak with you. You're happier out here. You can smell it a mile off. Surely you joke. I'm about to put my family at risk, get a dressing down from Saul, and possibly be kicked out of the family. And you say I seem happy? Yeah. Because you're doing what you think's right for the Aldecaldos. Even though it's hard. Even though you're shitting your pants. Dear God, so you can see it too. Because it's all for the family, right? Not that you want to kick Saul out. Take his place as the head of the clan. Not another word from you. All right. And you, why are you doing this? I know that I asked you for help myself, but why did you agree? Because it's important to you. But is that all? I... Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Listen, V, I... I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. Speaking of my feelings and so forth. And I would not want to cut this up. So far, so good, champ. Because I've kept my mouth shut up to now. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh. Noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close. If only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right, let's rejoin the others. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now.
Sit still your ass down a minute, honey. Breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. You worried about Saul? Quite some time left till dusk. Hmm. The car could use another once over. The stars have emerged. We've but a few hours till dawn. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ah, was it someone I know? No. Scorpion. He came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. How to raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. Saul was right about Snake Nation. You should remain independent. Otherwise, you could end up like... Like the backers. <laughs> we'll manage just fine on our own. All we need is a few good jobs. To get people talking about the Aldecaldos again. And that's why we're here today. Scorpion would be proud. Gonna try and get some sleep. Okay, it'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. V? Hey, did you just doze off? Anything happens, wake me up. Unless you want a nap, too. I'll just lie here a while. By your side. Gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Yeah. You do? Oh dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, B. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V.
Get her up to speed. His plan, boss. All right, the train's leaving. You'd better move. Okay, let's go. Ready to roll. begins. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! 
You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine, go right ahead. In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. You got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was ten years old. Seem to still be in fine working order. Family's with you on this, I think. Sure. Where did you get that impression? All I heard was silence. Saw them looking at that basilisk, drooling. Nomads, panzers, panzers, nomads. You had them from the start. We'll see. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will, so you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care.
baby. After all that went down, I thought you and I'd be ancient history. Don't be a gonk. So, ready to tell me what we're doing here? Well, been tinkering with virtues a lot lately and figured out a way to scroll two actors' experiences at the same time. Thought we could try it out. If you're down, of course. How does one marry two separate neural tracks? Well, at first I tried to create a single profile out of two data streams. Didn't turn out so great. Must have gotten tangled up. Interference, white noise. Yeah, effect was kind of like a bad art house. Couple tries in, though. I managed to isolate specific sensations. So you load them onto separate neural tracks. No emo bogeys. Not bad. Sounds like we could do this anywhere. Why do we come all the way out of here? What is this place? Cottage belonged to someone I knew. It sits empty now. I take the liberty to use it from time to time. And that's where we're gonna scroll? No, we're gonna scroll underwater. Nope, no way. Bad idea. Tell her to find some other yes man. What do you say? You in? Hell yeah, I'm in. Awesome. So, uh, let's go. Got the hardware here. All right, suit up, landlubber. Let's get this scroller on you. Water's toxic. That not a problem? Whole reason we're suiting up. All right, let's do this. Freezing ass water, here I come. Okay, we're all set. You go first. Way to the deepest point. It'll be pitch black, but the currents are gentle. Ought to be safe. Want the precise coordinates? Nah, why bother? I'll just stick close to you. Okie dokes. Virtues are more to you than just a way to churn out eddies, huh? Well, duh. Think it. Paintings. Songs. They're meant to produce emotion responses. Generally how any kind of creativity works, sure. Right, so art's a casing, trigger for emotion. Well, BDs are emotion in near pure form. This is it. Swim over here and look straight at me, will you? Great. Great. Signal's clear. Just need your help with a few basic checks. Need to calibrate our gear. First up, motion sensors and scrolling. Circle around me. Swim. Motion calibrated. Back my way now, V. Next up, sound check. I'm gonna hum a song. You give me the title. Read me. 
But I hear you just fine. Need a wider range. Levels can't be short of perfect. No idea what the song is, but I heard it. Go something like. What now? Prepare to have your mind blown. Wait for it. Now grab this and hold on tight. Down we go. sunken town. Like it? Don't know. Sure as hell never seen anything like it, can tell you that. It used to be called Laguna Bend. Just 15 years ago, people still lived here. What happened here? Why'd it get flooded? Cause someone stood to profit. Got some connection to this place, right? You got it. Grew up here. Haven't been back since Laguna Bend was wiped off the map. Why are you showing me this? Wanna get the right emotional reactions. Got a feeling this'll be perfect for my experiment. Why is this stand to be perfect? Hoping you'll be able to pick up all the unfiltered mess of emotions this place brings out in me. Like it or not, you'll react to those feelings. That's what I want to capture. Sounds Nova. Let's do this. Played this moment coming back so many times in my head. Taking me years. Working up the nerve for this. Why didn't you come earlier? Good question. Easy answer would be that I didn't have time, gear, stars weren't ever aligned. The truth is, the very idea it just felt weird. Best eatery in town. Only one at that, too. Burgers weren't amazing. Too greasy. Big. Of course, I say that now. Back then, it was the best thing I'd ever chewed and swallowed. And next door, that's where we lived. Me and my grandparents. Just let me know when you want to forge ahead. Looks like this fell off your one and only eatery. Now let's see. Childhood for you tasted like toasted marshmallows. They always caught fire, burned. But that never bothered you. That's nomad life for you. 
Can't be a fussy eater or you'll get no food at all. Anyway, all kinds of food tastes better with just a little burn. Got something here. Looks like an old photo cam. DPI 350. Practically an antique. You like it? You kidding? It's awesome. place for a framed picture. Water probably carried it out of someone's house. Anything to make out? No, not much. Hockey stick? Is there a skating rink here? Played street hockey on rollerblades. Which moves it out? Moves it out? Moves it because of you. Call me! Call me! And dead meat anyway. Anyway. Go out with me. Sorry, you gotta go. They're calling. They're calling. They're calling. Here, take this camera. Put it off in your hands and sit in here collecting algae. Thanks. What about your parents? Dad was never in the picture. Mom died when I was tiny. Can barely remember her. I still have her picture, but, you know, I see a stranger there. What was that? Those voices. Voices? Didn't hear anything but you just now. What was it like living with your grandparents? How were they? Granddad had a real knack for things technical. Taught me everything I know. And the stories he told. Ugh, never got bored listening to him. And Grandma was temperamental. Hot one second, cool as steel the next. Temperamental, huh? It explains a lot. Is that a dominant family trait? <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. Where'd your grandparents go? Night City? Yeah, for a couple years. Rented the unit that's mine now. But they hated the city. Moved up to Oregon. I still go and visit them sometimes. Let's keep going, Judy. Aye, aye, Captain. Follow me. Looking for anything in particular here? Nah. Can't hurt to look around, though. Picking up very chill vibes. Oh, feels like we're outside of time. Like, in a snow globe. After that, we can see what lies up ahead. Imagine anything that could be more out of place in an underwater world. Mm. Bottled water? <laughs> Touche, Judy. Touche. <laughs> Gotta say, I don't really get why they left their wheels behind when they had to evacuate. Thank <laughs> you. 
this isn't yours. Poor thing. Been here all alone for 20 years. So it is yours? No. It was Jenny Chapman's. You took her doll. As if. Hit it. It was a monster. You hit it? Why? Because I thought only losers played with dolls. What I really wanted was for her to notice me. Ah, the days when dolls were just kids' toys and nothing else. Want to see what's further on? Come on, then. Want to show you something. Got no idea how weird it feels swimming through here. Where you used to run as a kid? Where daily life grinded along? <laughs> Can imagine it a bit. going to this church? Never actually went to church. Never even really paid attention to it. It was just there, you know? I found an opening. I think we're safe to go through here. On my way. Snuck in here once when no one was around. Stood at the altar and tried to imagine what went through the Padre's mind, looking at all those people. Back then I wondered how he could read people's thoughts, and know everything about them. Then I screamed at the top of my lungs to check the acoustics. You didn't get chased off? Ran out myself. Echo, I got back scared the living bejesus out of me. Thought it was that crush I had on Jenny Chapman. All that guilt I tried running out. Flew right back in my face. Ah! Passed out. How'd you manage to lift me out? Dunno, didn't think about it. Just did what I had to do. Hey, careful, easy now. So, you're saying you saved my life. Thank you. Told you diving into this toxic waste was gonna end badly. But you just don't fucking listen. Toxic waste? Is that your construct? Please just ignore his babbling. It's a complicated relationship. Why do I even bother? Doubt you should go back to the city just now. I'm pretty beat too. Last thing I want to do is drive. Let's stay the night. What do you think? Why the hell not? Whose cottage is that then? You said you knew the owner. One of our neighbors was hell-bent on staying in Laguna Bend. Padges literally dragged him out of his house before the water came in. So he built himself another house as close as he possibly could, but... Then he got sick. Water was way more toxic back then.
Must be chilled to the bone. I'll brew a pot. How do you take yours? Milk and sugar, please. Going all in, huh? Ah, forgot to start the generator. I can turn it on. You're gonna take it easy. Promise to take it slow. All those people from the town. It's depressing. Most nomads have a story like that. And all of them began with this. Power's up! Judy? What was that? Couldn't hear you clearly. Something the matter? No, nothing. You thinking about Evelyn? Clouds has gone to shit. Tiger Claw no next took revenge for Hiromi and the rest. There was a firefight. Tom's dead. Roxanne barely got out alive. House is closed until further notice. I'd rather not talk or think about it. Didn't want to tell you. Didn't want you to think I blame you in any way. Why would you even assume I'd think that? Dunno, I... I'm sorry. Let's just kill the subject. I think I'll go lie down. I'm beat. It's on my nerves. That's you and me below. Just don't wake her up. Judy pisses you off. Why? Because she cares about people? And that reminds you you're a narcissistic asshole? She's all over the place. Refuses to take the door, jumps out a window, then acts all surprised when she gets hurt. She reminds you of all, doesn't she? Oh, for no, nobody's even close to Alt and what me and her had. Let's get the fuck away, can we? You fucking blow if you can. Not about to leave her alone, middle of nowhere. No, I can't talk to you when you get this. Sentimental. Waste of words. At least take a nap so we don't have to argue. Will you sit with me a while? Here's your coffee. Finally. Morning. You know, yesterday I think I'd made up my mind. I actually called you because I wanted to say goodbye. The city's chewed me up and spitting me out.
Know why I came to Night City? Because I thought it offered opportunities you couldn't come by anywhere else. Now, it feels like I'm standing in quicksand. There's no way to live. For anyone. I feel you. I, I can't leave Night City. Not yet. But someday, who knows? Give me your hand, V. All set, congrats. Just gave you unlimited access to my pad. Whoa, you're asking me to move in? If it's what you want. Or just drop by when the urge grabs you. Don't know what to say. Nobody's ever done anything like this for me. It really shows trust. Take care, B. This really it. Last time we see each other. Didn't seem so set on leaving just a sec ago. See no reason to delay. I'll stay here a couple days, then head off. It's been nice knowing you, V. See ya. And hit me up on the hollow sometimes. I'll see ya, Judy. You've reached Nance. I can't come to the hollow right now. If I feel like it, I'll call you back. Bye.
Be there soon. Fuck me, it is awesome. So I hear.
get lost. Shit weather, eh? Selling anything interesting? <sighs> that depends on what you're interested in. I'm looking for a training bot. I heard it might have passed through your hands. Training bot, you say? Let me see. Hmm. Perhaps you want Dalbot. Slightly worn and torn, missing legs, but... Tempting, but no, thanks. Suit yourself. Training bot. Yes, I have one. But only for sale. And it won't be cheap. What do you take me for, gonk? Clunkers like that selling kabuki bazaars for ennies at the most. If you come here just for that, it must be worth more. Maybe a little, but not as much as you're trying to fleece me for. Okay, okay, fine. I pick it down a notch. Now hurry up and pay. I'm waiting. Well, here's another idea. Either let it go for free, or I let my trigger finger slip. What do you say? Hmm, I see. You look at this dump and think I'm some piece of loser trash, huh? That you can just come here and try to fuck me.
say that went exactly how I would have liked, but at least Rejo has something to train with, and that's what matters. Contract closed. Okay, I'll match it. We good? All good. Let's go. So bare hands only, right? No pulling any mono waffle. Fires or mantis blades out of your ass? Right. I asked because the last guy I fought tried to surprise me with long spurs. Anyway, you ready to start? Yep. Ready to rumble. Careful now. I don't fuck around.
Como Can't you see it's coming off? Caleb, baby. Oh, I'm sorry. Shit. I... Not another word, pendejo. Hand over the stupid keys and let's go home. <sighs> Here. Spoiler for me. Keep it. Everything. I won't take anything from you. You... I mean, really? Not my type of joke. Listen, I... Shit, I, I, I don't know how to thank you. Just don't lose what you still got left. Don't intend to. Ooh. We dodged one there, huh? Mm-hmm. And the Dekos have all the luck. Any ideas for a name? Hmm. Something with a V? Been all right. I was thinking. 
Okay, drop by for dinner, maybe. Joss has worked up a hankering to cook for the family. How could I say no? Right, great. See you at Joss's then. Sounds pretty. Spare a veteran some change? Here. All yours. Hey. Do I so good and you? God bless. You want blood? Is that why you're here? Hey! Ha ha ha! What a coincidence! So it's you I'm fighting. Depends. On what? If you want to get splattered. If so, then lace up, lay down some cash, and let's have some fun! If we're doing this, it's for serious scratch. I'm up in the stakes. Oh! I see you're not joking around. No problem. I'll sweeten the pot. Come with me. You two are ready to start? Yeah. Ready as I'll ever be. May the best brawler win! Is that why you're here? Hey! Ha ha ha! So it's... Depends. If you want to... If we're doing... Oh. Come with me. You 
You two are ready to start? Yeah, ready as I'll ever be. May the best brawler win!
Stop! I'm done! I surrender! This fight is over! V is the winner! Woohoo! That... Uh, that was a doozy, V. Got me grinning like a goon. Here to... Here. Here's your take. You earned every any. Thanks. You're a real bozo. You know that, Ozob. A what? And you're Mr. Normal? Don't turn your nose up at me! <laughs> hey, you do know that grenade's gonna pop one of these days, right? I avoid it, but someone else. I know, I know. We all die someday. At least when I do, there'll be fireworks. <laughs>